Hi everybody, my name is Susan Wong from Capital Lifestyle and today, wow, we have a special guest straight from New Delhi, India. She just landed literally 24 hours ago. We have Dr. Nina from Fortis Healthcare Group. Welcome to Capital FM. Um, and Fortis, if you had no clue, is actually the second largest healthcare chain in India. Yes, it actually has 54 hospitals across the country. Wow, wow, Mostly 54. Mostly in no North India. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm from one of the most prestigious ones, that's mm -hmm. Fortis La Femme. Mm -hmm. La Femme by the name itself is the woman. It's, it's a all woman centric hospital. Yes, yes, absolutely. Wow. The patient is not patient, she's a pampered patient, you know. Eh, mm -hmm. I, I think I should go visit one day <laughs> if I need some yeah. assistance, medical assistance. Yeah, yeah. So, Dr. Nina, you are a gynecologist. Yes. That's your field. Um, I know a lot of us watching are probably thinking, ah, I know what a gyna, uh, you know, it does. And, but really, I don't think we understand the extent of um, the services yeah, yeah, that you yes, provide. Exactly. Because the moment you say gynecologist, the only image is somebody, a doctor who's delivering babies. But it's not like that, you know, gynecologists and obstetrician. Obstetrician mm. is the one who's delivering babies, ah. whereas gynecology is a big field in itself, you know. It's all about gyne surgeries as well. Mm -hmm. So the treatment of fibroids, ovarian cysts, cancers in okay. women, it all comes under gynecologist. Understood. Mm -hmm. And in terms of women's preventative um, health, uh, I think you, you must be leading that in terms of being, being a gynecologist. Yes. But now it's, it's middle of the year. Are there certain things, like is there a checklist that every woman should think about? Yes, definitely. As they say, prevention is better than cure any day. So better get yourself, you know, time to time in different age groups. Mm -hmm. You know, if I start from a younger age group, mm -hmm. so the moment you st a girl starts menstruating, that's the time first gynae visit should be, you know. Oh. So because sometimes the girls are young, they are shy, they yes. feel, you know, uh, they don't even come across and tell their parents everything in details, what's happening to them. There's a thing called puberty menorrhagia. She mm -hmm. may be bleeding too much in her periods, which only a doctor will come to know. So one <laughs> visit a pre for preventive health at puberty then once you start becoming sexually active, that's the time, you know, when should, you should really take care of your health. Mm -hmm. A simple test like pap smear, mm -hmm. if you do it over repeatedly, you know, can pick up mm -hmm. cervical cancers, the and cancers of the uh, mouth of the womb. Uh, okay. And how often should a woman get a pap smear? See, pap smear conventionally comes uh, in one packet in which we had to use to do it every year mm -hmm. you know, to be fruitful but now we have uh, what we are doing at La Farm is a much better thing it is called liquid based cytology mm -hmm. and if we combine it with HPV testing HPV is human papilloma virus which yes. is the precursor of cancer so we are actually checking that as well there now oh. so if we do this test we combine both the test and then the sensitivity goes up to the sensitivity to pick up cancer goes up to 92 percent to 95 percent so in that in fact we can repeat every three to five yearly if we combine both the tests right but the conventional pap smear needs to be done every year okay and in terms of mammograms and other types of scans um, maybe you can share more about the preventative um, yes. things that we can do See, mammogram mammography is a thing which is used to pick up breast cancer okay so but at the same time it has radiations mm. so you should not be exposing the body too much to radiations at a younger age mammography should be done as a preventive health thing only after age of 40 before that oh. we should be doing ultrasound both breast so which a lot of people again don't understand they expose yes. the body to radiations but after 40 if you have a high family history you know your mother or your grandmother or your sibling mm -hmm. has had breast cancer, then every year. Otherwise, every two years after age of 40, mammography is good enough. 40 is, yes. is the age. Yeah, 40 is the age. Okay. Before that, you should go in for ultrasound breast. 
and if there is no strong family history then one year you can combine mammography with ultrasound, the next year you can just screen with ultrasound breast as well. Okay. But uh, definitely mm -hmm. you know you should know how to palpate the breast yourself to pick up lumps. That is really important. Is it, is it this motion? I, I, I think the last See, time I took a class was like yes, a it S should or be something. With the flat of your hand uh -huh. and the motion should be rotational, especially when you are taking bath, you know, with soapy mm. hands, you, you can pick it up easily. So if there is any lump, so normally if you press your hands like yes. this, you will pick up the breast tissue itself. Mm -hmm. So that does not mean it is a lump. So if you palpate and feel it with the flat so of your circular. hand, rotational moment, circular mm -hmm. movements, yes, and especially go right up to the armpit. Like up here? Yes, on to the armpit ah, on both sides as okay. well. Okay. Yeah. And if we suspect that we found a lump? Then def definitely please visit a doctor. Okay. Almost immediately you are yes. saying. Um, so back to La Femme. Mm -hmm. So what other services do you provide um, for women? I mean, is there prenatal things that you talk about yes, also? Yes, we talk about prenatal, how to prepare for pregnancy itself, you know. Mm -hmm. Because then again, I am talking about your preventive thing mm -hmm. again. So normally a woman who is, you know, wishing to go ahead with pregnancy, she should have a prenatal visit with the doctor to do all the blood tests and to start taking folic acid supplement. Folic acid is a vitamin which we give to women three to six months prior to when she has to plan for pregnancy. Mm -hmm. That no, It is a very inexpensive medicine. If you take it daily, it can decrease the complications during pregnancy, especially neural tube defects, you know, mm. the developing brain of the fetus. Right. If right. the folic acid is deficient, you know, can be hampered. Okay. And also it can lead to abortions, deficiency of folic acid. So your sh body should be fully loaded with folic acid. And also you know, little things yet, like your blood group, your thalassemia profile, your mm -hmm. rubella status should be known before planning pregnancy. So that if you are not immune to rubella, then you should take the vaccine first and mm -hmm. then plan pregnancy after two months. And um, how far advanced should you go for a prenatal visit before you plan to conceive? Six months, three to six months is good enough. Okay, okay. Um, and what other unique services does La Femme provide to women? See, La Femme not only caters to delivering patients, mm -hmm. but also to for gynae surgeries as well as know like what I am specialized and my team is specialized is in minimal access surgery in gynae, mm. meaning thereby it is like a keyhole surgery. Oh. So f since you know ages we have seen that women have fibroids and this part of the world especially you know mm -hmm. this belt has lot of tendency for women to have not only fibroids one or two but multiple. You know I had a patient who had 254 fibroids in one sitting we had removed. Two, sorry. 254 fibroids in one single operation we removed. Wow, and how long was that operation? It took good four hours. Wow, and you, you removed all of them? Yes, we okay. tried to remove mm. all of them, mm. uh, but the main thing is that you should try to preserve the uterus in the end, that is what of is course. more important. Okay. You know? So since ages, either the scar was this big from here to here, or the scar was like this, mm. but now what we do is, we do a keyhole surgery. We make small ports, you know, small mm. holes, one for the scope and other for the ancillary instruments. And then in front of us is a big monitor or mm -hmm. a screen. We look at the screen and we operate inside. Okay, so the scarring would be at Very a minimal. Less, minimal scarring, minimal scarring. Everything is done through those ports. So the next day patient is good enough to get up on her own and walk back home. The next day? The next day itself, you know. Wow, the and recovery all period. all those, you know, mm, precautions like do not work for six uh, weeks thereafter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no bed rest, nothing, less of bleeding, no, hardly any pain, you know, post-operative. That's week. amazing. Yeah. And um, Dr. Nina, just a little bit about your journey as becoming a doctor. Were you always interested in women's health? Uh, yeah, probably coming from a background of doctors. My father was a doctor, so we were living in a medical campus kind of a thing. Oh. So everybody <laughs> around was a doctor, so it was expected that I would become a doctor. And of okay. course, uh, I mean, I know this is not being modest, but all the toppers, you know, all mm. the, you know, girl toppers, 
would choose to go in for gynae, you know. That was the prestigious branch to go ah. in for. So, and I was the best graduate of my, mm -hmm. you know, the topper of all five years. Wow. So when you have good marks and you are the topper of the batch, you are invited to join gynae. Okay. So, and I don't regret it till date. It's a passion. Well, it, it, it shows. I think... Um, this is the most pleasant conversation I've ever had with a gynecologist. <laughs> Usually I get quite nervous yeah. because it's like, oh, I need to do this and that. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much for coming to Kenya. I know you, you might be still a little bit jet lagged, but I hope your visit to Kenya is fruitful um, yeah, and you can had, share your best you know, practices. We've had very good experience. We've had Kenyan patients as well through this uh, Firm called Pathways International. Right, I had right. A very pleasant experience with Kenyan patients. That's well. great. Um, so, Pathway International is an organization based in Kenya, but they are leaders in the market for global medical and healthcare solutions. And we'll definitely provide all of their information in the, de in the description box below so you can get in touch. And if you would like to get in touch with Dr. Nina or the Fortis Group in uh, India, we'll also leave that information. Information. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Nina. Welcome. Pleasure was all mine. Oh, it's mine too. Mm -hmm. Have a great day, guys. Bye.